Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Solo Russ adventure. Today, I'm going to be building one of the most unique bases that I've actually come across. I know I've said this a couple times, but the peaks on this base are something I have never seen before. They're mental. And it's actually a base by my good friend. And I'm sure he'd appreciate a shout out. It's the least I can do. So, you know, if you want to check out this base, make sure you go into the description and check it out. But yeah, fresh wipe. Thank you so much for the support. It's, it, it's been unreal. Like, I, I don't know what I've done to deserve it, but I can't thank you enough. It's been outrageous and... I'm just very happy right now. <laughs> so from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much. It means a lot. It really does. We're really close to 60k subscribers as well. So if you do enjoy what you see, I upload weekly solo Rust videos. I hope you enjoy. And if you do, drop a little like and a sub. Thank you very much. Let's get into this wipe. Oh no. No. <laughs> After getting bonked in the head, I scouted out a potential build spot for this wipe of mine. I wanted to live somewhere chill, but somewhere I could progress easily. Forgetting this was a fresh wipe 500 pop server, the word chill doesn't really coincide. But yeah, this looks like a nice spot. Junkyard I haven't been to too much. Train system, harbour airfield, large barn as well. Um, we could definitely utilise that because there's some quests I can do to get some scrap, which is cool. So yeah, I think I've sussed out the build spot. Just have to get there, of course. Oh, someone's built. No, I wanted to build there. I, I was seeing these two rock formations here. I wanted to go in between them. Someone's built in them. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we've got to find somewhere new. I, I suppose it's not really a problem. Anywhere around here would be pretty cool. Maybe if I go maybe north of Junkyard. Oh, there's already a house over there as well. Damn, this could be harder than what I thought. Oh, no. I'm friendly. Okay, down here is looking promising. This is a lovely spot, in fact. Really nice. Wow. Yeah, let's live right here. This is wonderful. And just like that, we have a home. Base down was step one. Step two was to farm for a tool cupboard. Instead of building north of Junkyard, I opted to build west, as this plot of land was perfect for the base I wanted to construct. I like it. I like it a lot. This is my favourite part of Rust and nothing comes close. Is the very beginning of Wipe. It is so enjoyable. And this base actually has a pretty funky TC placement. It's so I can utilize a very, very good bunker. Okay, let's try and find some nodes, I suppose. And obviously, try and get some cloth pickups as well. And just begin the solo, the solo grind that I enjoy. I also really enjoy living in areas like this that are not necessarily secluded. But they're kind of in the middle of nowhere, sort of. I, I, it's hard to describe. It just means I can get a lot done without having to worry about being shot in the back permanently and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, we've got ourselves a bow, which is good. We should definitely find an animal. I was also hitting some of these barrels that, that spawn in these little electrical grids. They're very good for wipe day, especially because they respawn so fast. In which they have not respawned just yet. Oh, okay. I'm depoting that, to be honest. Oh, there's one behind my base as well. This is actually a really good spot. I'm definitely liking this so far. It's really good. Oh, is this guy getting them as well? Yeah, he is. Yes. Nice. It's a good kill. I'm gonna add an airlock before <laughs> before I get deep. I don't I don't feel too safe. Nice, there we go. Okay, let's continue on. Let's aim to get a animal. And I'm seeing a bear. Couldn't be any more perfect, man, honestly. <laughs> No. 
It's running and there's a player up to my left. I'm chasing this bear. I want it. Oh, wait, has this guy found it? No. take this kill. I would still love that bear. I don't know where he went though, unfortunately. Dude, the rust gods are actually with me today. Oh, my have arrows. GG. <laughs> Here he is up there. Come on, Callie. Don't mess it up this time. Get the bear. <laughs> hey, one hit. made it, yay. We'll get some wood, we'll get some metal, we'll get that furnace running, and then, and then I think we'll head to a large barn and do that 100 scrap mission. Okay, that'll do. Let's get a little bit more armor, and yeah, let's head down to the barn. One of the easiest ways to get 100 scrap on wipe day is going to the barn and getting the boar hunting quest. I never really used it, but after using it in this wipe, safe to say I will definitely use it again. Oh my god, that didn't kill it. No, I swear they're usually three hit. That was crazy. Got some metal on the way. Let's get a bag down here. I feel like I'm going to be in this area a little bit. Okay. In two bow kids. Are they actually gonna chase me? <laughs> See ya! See ya! Is it you, my friend? Boar hunt. Yeah, there we go. That's crazy. Kill one, I'll pay you a hundred scrap. Like, that's mad, bro. It's like one of the fastest ways of getting a hundred scrap in a game. I need to find one though, that's the issue, and it's wipe day. Any boars about? Any boars kicking about? Hello? Oh, I hear one. Yes. Blimey. I miss the easy shots, man. Hit the hard ones. Solar panel. Oh, solar panel is very nice. Treasure. Okay. Oh, that's very far away. I'm gonna depot and then I'll head that way at the night time. <laughs> Hello, brother. Uh, I I don't know what that's about. That's a bit weird, but <laughs> it's what it is. Okay. Hopefully he wasn't trying to talk to me because I had my voices on. <laughs> Guys, crossbow. Ooh. Is it worth the 25 scrap I paid? Let's have a look. It usually is. You can usually get like laptops and all that sort of stuff. Oh my, that is so worth it. I'm heading to outpost. This guy has a saw on it. How? How? 48 minutes into wipe. These are the guys I fought in my last wipe. I recognize the VKL name. How did he help? That was crazy. Progression's way too fast, man. Another 100 scrap. We're flying today. Flying. Oh, I should have recycled the plate jacket. I didn't think of that. Oh, well. And we already have 250 scrap. Well, basically. Damn. Okay. That was very nice. The first day on the server was nothing crazy, but still pretty good progression-wise. 
The next day would be focusing on getting a tier 2 workbench as I was already halfway there and of course continuing to farm and indulging in some base work. I just realised I have the scrap and I, I, I just didn't think about making a tier 1. My brain just doesn't work sometimes I tell you. I'm gonna add one more airlock. In fact, I'm just gonna complete the bottom part of the base. I do have enough stone I believe. My guy's getting shot at. No way. I bet his mates are loaded. I bet they're both loaded. Yep. Oh. As if. Oh, he's all the way over there. Dude, he would have been loaded, I'm telling you. Anyway. That makes me want to craft a revolver, you guys. It really does. Little crossy revolver action could be on the cards. Okay, I need some more wood desperately. Right, so it's mission, get another furnace and then make a metal pickaxe. I think that's the play right now. That'll do. And let's go get some metal. Just do some essential bits of the base right now. Just while I have the stone at my disposal, I think. So you want to honeycomb this as per. However, for the bunker, you want to add this little half wall inside. Like that. And then for the actual entrance, you're going to want to honeycomb this. And then we'll just simply add this here for the way up. For now. And honestly, we can live like this for a while. There's nothing really wrong with this. I should probably do the interior of the core though a little bit. Just before I start getting too much loot because I just really hate doing the core when I've got like my boxes overflowing basically. So I kind of want to sort it out while I can now. Make life easier, just take these doors off. Oh, I even see through on the bottom. That's really cool. That's a cool door. Anyway. <laughs> the bunker, yeah, that works fine. The bunker on this base is pretty simple. A lot of you probably would have seen me use it already. But like I said, it is it's just it's just a great bunker. Like in a in a triangle core base, I feel like it would be silly not to use it. We can even get a little box down in here. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'm going to utilize these electrical grids for some scrap now. Because I'm not terribly far off a tier 2 actually. So yeah, hopefully these can respawn relatively fast. I can just get what I need. And then it's just showtime baby. It is showtime. What the hell? Oh my god, that scared me way too bad though. I just randomly hear footsteps coming towards me. Or, or like running away or whatever. What the hell? Free bear though. <laughs> we Audi. We Audi. These have respawned already. See what I'm telling you guys? It's insane. I'm gonna head to junkyard for the first time, see what I can get up to. I'm getting a bit bloodthirsty. I wanna get a kill. <laughs> Still needing some scrap, I headed to junkyard to hopefully gain enough or at least get me closer to the tier 2 workbench. Thing is with junkyard, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, to be honest. I might have it all to myself right now. A 
are no green card. Collect with a diesel though. Maybe for a future shop. I'm sure there'd be people interested in buying diesel. It is eerily quiet here though. It's a bit weird. But the crates are respawning already. Should I just sit here for a little while? Maybe I should. Oh, that is insane. I've just looted this crate and it's back. <laughs> Holy smokes. There's a guy here. Only has a bow though, luckily for me. I don't think it's worth me fighting this. Definitely isn't. This guy's not bad either. Oh, it was kind of worth it. He had some stuff. Okay, I'm a dip. I'm overstaying. I don't care about you, sir. I'm out. Oh, God. <laughs> the great escape. Run. <laughs> what the flip? Okay, I have a bag over there. I'm just going to spawn and try and loot this guy. I don't know what he had. He had some stuff. Well, that puts us at almost a tier 2. I can just farm these electrical grids again, and I'm pretty sure I'll be there, to be honest. That was a, that was a big run, though. That's a lot of loot. Yeah, pretty much there. Nice. Very nice. That junkyard run was amazing for me. However, I was just short of 500 scrap. So with the electrical grids around me, it was a no-brainer to farm them to get some quick and easy scrap in relative safety. I think I'm going to make a trip to the outpost at night time. Recycle some of these components because I have quite a few. That's it really. I kind of want to keep a bunch of this stuff. Tech trash for electrical components, beds, some gear. Yeah, I think I'll just leave that stuff. Oh, they must be invalid, I feel like. Yeah, projectile loss. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, as if. I've just lost all my components. Luckily, I don't... Oh, no, I'm trying to make it... I'm trying to make myself feel better. I needed that. Damn it, dude. Okay, well, I'm going to just go ahead naked and go back to these electrical branches. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, losing my components was a minor setback, but nothing we couldn't come back from. I farmed the electrical grids around me, recycled at junkyard, and then I was able to craft myself that tier 2. Well, even still, there's our tier 2. Beautiful. Get down this workbench. Boom, that's a good sight, I like that. And straight away, P250 because that's how we're rocking around here. Nice and cheap to craft, pretty good damage, no brainer. Very nice, very very nice. Okay now we just need to get these furnaces pumping. We need to farm, yeah we need to do we need to do some stuff for sure and it's some very grindy grindy stuff. Let me just heal up. Being very early on into the wipe, there was still a lot of farming to be done. Not only components and nodes, but also farming players here and there for all of their belongings. Yeah, I'm on a mission now. I'm on a mission to beef this base up, get what I need, have some enjoyable PvP. Yeah, oh, it's going to be good, man. It's going to be good. There's not much metal about, I'll tell you that much. That isn't good. Everyone's hoovering up the metal. It's that time of wipe.
Oh shit. There's so many heads over here. Oh my gosh, I just saw three arctic hazmats. Nope. They were also farming up there. Just seen someone. Okay, nice. I'm scared of these SAR guys, so what I'm going to do is just run home, depot, and then try and head back to get the loot. Yep, I could already see one of them up to behind me. I'm hoping these guys were loaded, man. Yeah, look, they're on my base, bro. Ooh, oh, no. Two of them. They're fully geared as well. They had nothing. They had nothing. Oh my god, I need to be quick. I'm really worried they're going to raid me and I think they will. Following this, I was worried these guys would try and early raid me. So with what materials I had, I decided to add some honeycomb and do some upgrading. It's a race against time. I really think they, they might. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being really, really like dramatic. But considering I've seen them farm sulfur, like, yeah, I don't know. I need to be like very cautious, I think. Nope, that stays like that. Okay. We're honeycombed, we're honeycombed. The only problem right now that I have is that the second floor kind of takes quite a bit of stone and I don't have it just yet so I, the best I can do is add an extra door yeah I think that's what I'm gonna have to do but I have to do like some intricate building nah, it's not that complicated it's just it's very cool though and it also actually acts as like a little peak which I guess can come in handy if I'm getting raided Need a siren light though. Oh well, I don't have that just yet. Yeah, here's, here's one of the many peaks of this base. It's a very, very cool base, may I add. And I'm also going to sheet metal these two walls here, just so they're not soft sidable, because currently they are. So I'm going to sheet metal them too. With some simple honeycomb added, a sheet metal roof, and one of the various peaks completed, Safe to say I felt slightly safer. Right now, as I said before, it was more of the same. Just grinding up and setting myself up for the future of this wipe with sulphur, metal and various materials. Productive Kali. I'm gonna go for another mining run. This is amazing. The most productive I've ever been in Rust. <laughs> this base isn't too expensive, but I do truly believe it is the perfect base for a solo. Okay, I would like my daughter to, to be crafted quite quickly now. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> okay, nice, 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 nice. Now I can chill. So, on this second floor, we have three of these peaks. These will peak up into the shooting floor, but they also act as peaks outwards, like I've already showed you. Which is, I think, is really neat. 
So we've got them. And then obviously we've got peaks on the third floor and on the fourth floor. This base is like incredible. Like honestly, it's, it's a great base. It really is. And the best thing about and the best thing about it is that it's very very reasonable for a solo. Cost wise, it's quite cheap. Very nice, very very nice. So of course this can house a battery, which it probably will. Boxes, furnaces, you name it, anything can come up here. Okay, me thinks this is enough building for now. I don't think I need to do much more just yet. I feel pretty safe. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm also going to move some of these doors around. Just like that. Oh, okay, yeah, you know, I feel pretty safe. I really do. I really do now. Oh, it's actually coming over. Hello! Guess I'll just sit in base and craft GP. That aim was horrific, Callie. What are you playing at? And I know he has a teammate, which is actually scaring me, because I don't know if they both have compound bows. Yep. Whatever he had. Oh. Huh? What the f No way! No way! No way! I think they were all together. There's four of them. I don't know though, I can't be for sure. This is bad because I don't have any meds now. Of course I kill the one that doesn't have the P2, bro. Okay. Wow. His P2 could have gone anywhere, bro. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Oh, they're over there looking for it. <laughs> I feel like they found it, yeah. Oh, I mean... We got a jackhammer. To be honest, it isn't bad. If I could find the P2, I lost a P2. That's pretty much it. I lo I, okay, I lost out on the inventory of farm. But because I got the jackhammer, that's not actually that bad of a loss. It was definitely an unfortunate fight, but I would try to put this jackhammer to good use later on. I went to look for the P2, but I couldn't find it. The day was coming to an end, and up until that fight, I felt like I had been playing this wipe quite well. There was plenty more action to come. Okay, I'm going to head to Junkyard on the hunt for some gears, I think. Oh, there we go. Vamos. Oh, and a battery. No way. We can probably set up electric furnaces way sooner than I thought. We've already got pretty much everything we need. Green card. Just respawned. Shotgun trap. A fourth solar panel. <laughs> oh, 
more gears. This is insanely successful. What? Yeah, that was amazing. That was the run of all runs right there. No way. Let's go. That was huge. Not too sure where I'll place this shotgun trap. I guess I could... Hmm. And we'll also place on here. In the tutorial, this base doesn't actually come with externals in a compound, however, I'm going to add them, I think. Or I could do an external TC now, maybe. I do have a spare, yeah, I do have one here. We could look into that. In the chance I get raided and the main tool cupboard is destroyed, having an external TC meant I could take my base back over, so making one now and then another one later on would be in my best interest. Wait, this, I've done this so scuffed. What on earth? <laughs> uh, okay, that's a bit better. I, I don't know what exactly I've done to mess this up so bad, but it's still an external. <laughs> that's quite funny. We'll have a gatehouse here, I suppose. <laughs> that's so bad. That is so bad. It'll do. Uh, actually, no, it's not terrible. It's okay. <laughs> Hey, gears. I love my gears, dude. <laughs> what the f- Hello? Um... Okay. <laughs> I guess he just disconnected or something. <laughs> I don't know. Tabbed out, maybe? I could craft my own saw. I just don't want to spend 450 metal, to be fair. I just think that's a bit... <laughs> expensive at this stage of the wipe for me very nice very neat and then we'll add some campfires for some extra peaks for a little bit of leverage yeah that's much better we're now stacking up on the old sheet metal as well now so i'm gonna get to work using a bit of this on the inside we'll uh we'll do uh, I reckon that colour. Yeah, we fully sheet metal the core. Why not? Why not? We've got the furnaces pumping. They're going to give us a lot of metal, so... Yeah. Let's just do the whole core. Nice. There's some gears. Hey. I wanted to do a large recycle run, and despite not wanting to craft a saw a minute ago, I figured I would need it for my trip to Outpost, just in case. That terrified me, ladies and gentlemen, if you could not tell. Oh my gosh. I'm so lucky right now. I'll take that. Three of them as well. Okay, this is quite a big run. I'm going to buy some metal frags as well. 100 scraps worth. Right, let's go. Let's go. He's only got a bow, but he has a hazmat. How is he just... What is that about? Suppressor is quite weak, I suppose. Oh my.
Okay. <laughs> that was an unfortunate door camp, I guess. What the hell? Oh my, I, I just lose a se <clears throat> Oh my god, I don't believe it. This area was so quiet, I was just like strolling. I, ugh. Are they roof camping? Yeah. Awesome. I love neighbors at roof camp. That's so enjoyable. That's so unfortunate, man, for that guy. Uh, bear? What the heck? Oh, my. No, 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 no. He's so mad and I feel bad. Let me, let me in. I think I might change the skin as well to kind of match the the red. Mm. That was quite cool. Oh, Wellens goes nicely. Let's do Wellen. Nice man. Oh yeah. It was getting quite late into the day. My base was pretty strong for wipe day, and I wanted to seal the bunker and log off for the night. So let me show you how you seal the bunker for those of you that maybe haven't seen it before. Because of the triangle I placed outside in the in the honeycomb, I can connect this very easily. And then it will connect from here, but you have to place it in here. Spiral stairs. You upgrade this to any build grade, you cannot get through. And people always said in the comments last time, Oh, Kelly, what if they just break this? They break this, it, it, it stays, it stays. This is non-splashable as well. You, you can't splash this. Let me just show you for um, those of you that don't believe me. In fact, let me use a flame arrow. It doesn't, it doesn't destroy. It's a very good bunker. It's very, very good. Like so. Upgrade these to sheet metal. You cannot get through. You can't get pushed through either. It's very nice. And then obviously we'll window these off. It just makes it even more annoying. But yeah, tomorrow we have big things. Compound. Another external. Two more floors on the base. PvP. Yeah, the list goes on. I'm excited. I'm going to get some rest. And uh, I'm going to pray that I wake up to a base. <laughs> We have survived. Yeah, baby. There was no doubt in my mind. We are quite a strong, quite a strong raid for wipe day. Yeah. I think what I want to do is build the other external quickly. I do want to set up electrical furnace at some point as well, of course. But first of all, I, yeah, I do think the main focus right now is going to be on my base. Yeah, that's how it should have been done. <laughs> this one's much better. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, this external is how it's meant to be done. I don't know what I was thinking with the other one, to be honest. I mean, it looks fine. They still look pretty similar.
Ooh. Oh, does he live right here? Probably. Wait, that wasn't him, was it? Oh, it was. We've got the gatehouses, we've got the actual TCs. Just need the woos. But I don't need to worry about that just yet, I don't think. It's going to be quite a large compound, I think. Maybe six woos on each. Maybe five. Uh, no, nah, that's pretty average, actually. Yeah, I think about five or six. There was definitely two revolvers shooting. I guess he just didn't find it, right? Not that I necessarily need it. Oh, he just didn't pick it up. Okay, yeah. I'm really wanting to raid this 2 by one here, actually. I'm really tempted. That base I had just seen was very close to mine, and I really wanted to raid it. So whilst I waited for my sulfur to smelt, I headed on a small roam and then to outpost to trade some stone for wood in order to complete my compound. I'm so lucky right now that he didn't see me just then. Ooh. Oh yeah, we will definitely have enough to raid, 100%. There we go, we have enough satchels. Well, one extra. That's good. I'm still going to run to outpost though, I'm just going to use some of my own stone. And we'll buy a hundred scrap worth of metal. And let's go. Where's grenade on the tech tree? Oh, I'm going to need that I think. Especially because he's online. I should probably make a good kit as well. Having everything I thought I needed, I headed over. Oh, they have a double metal. I need more satchels. I could go 10 through the roof, but the problem with that is because he's online, he's just going to go into the airlock. Thinking it was only two doors, I went over assuming I had enough. Unfortunately, I could hear a sheet double door being opened and closed in the base. So yet again, I had to wait for the next batch of sulfur to smelt. Gonna save all of our raiding materials in that box there. And in the meantime, the compound was my main priority. Make it quite snug. Okay, it was correct, it was five. Okay, compound complete. Need to get some metal barricades, two more doors. And then yeah, we're chilling. Nice and secure. Joe. Compound complete. Very nice. Make it as like perfect as possible. <laughs> that was so silly. What the hell? <laughs> and with that, it was time to get this raid underway.
Oh my god, dude. He actually almost killed me, wow. Respect. I can't, I can't get to my satchel. I can't get to it. Yeah, I can't get to it. I, I, have I lost the raid? I can't get to the satchel, bro. No way, no, no, no. Unless I can get... TC, maybe? No. Oh, dude. I can't get to my... Th oh. <laughs> I might just have to make another one. But then... They might come back. I can't risk them sealing it. This is really... This is a problem. This is actually a problem. Because they could just seal this. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I can't even shoot TC out. Oh, this is not good. I can't fumble this raid. There was either three or four bags in here. Just so you know. Oh, I can't get in. If this duds, I swear. Yeah. Are you repair? He repaired it. He rep. I. I. Uh. Burn the TC, please. I'm dead. No. Oh my god. I mean, I got 2k sulfur from it. Oh man. Oh my. Wait. Did the TC break? No. Oh. Oh my god, dude. And yes, I could have got the code on the door, but to be honest, I didn't think of that. <laughs> but no, I did think of it, I just didn't do it, I guess. Looking back at it, this wasn't actually too bad of a raid, considering I got the loot sticking through the wall. Yes, I could have played it better, but it's very rare as solo online raids, so now I'm happy about it. Back when I was playing, I was devastated. You win some, you lose some. And I unfortunately lose more than I win when it comes to raids. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude. On the bright side, the interior looked pretty nice. If we do this, I guess what these boxes are useful for is overnight. In f oh, you can't wait. I'm seeing the open sign. Anyway, like, ah, uh, yeah, you maybe you can open them. I don't know, but overnight, this is actually crazy good loot rooms. No one's gonna suspect a thing, right? You've got. And of course you can put another small box in there. So you've got f six small boxes of loot up here. That's actually really good. I'm not going to need it just yet, but I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll do these bits here and then I'll wait for morning to do the rest. Just wall these in. There we go. So we want to have a ladder hatch here. Lovely. 
like so. And then we want to place the chain links here. So I also access peak ups again. There's just so many like weird and unique peaks on this base. I really am a fan. So of course these can be peaked ups into here. Pretty cool. Place some boxes so we get some nice angles. Look at these peaks, man. They're actually like crazy. <laughs> I've, I've never seen such like intricate peaks. It's wild, man. It's actually crazy. <laughs> okay, so we've got another layer of peaks. Very nice. <clears throat> it's getting there. The base is getting there for sure. The base was coming along nicely and it was only two thirds done so still had a little bit of building left to do. At this moment I was pretty fed up of farming wood so I decided to do a simple electrical furnace system. Actually because I enclosed this at the top I think, yeah I need to move this one I think. I don't want it interfering with the placements. That should, yeah that should be absolutely fine. This one should be okay as well, perfect. Oh, I'm also going to want to switch. Uh, actually, I believe I saved some from earlier because I knew I wanted to do this. Yep. Lovely. We'll have one light down here. Here. And we'll do one up here as well. Now we take one, each of these to a light and we pass it through into the furnace. Then we just pass through into a furnace. I don't think it will work just yet because I won't have power to my battery. Oh, it does. But not enough for the furnaces just yet. Okay. What the freak? Oh my god, these kids are frustrating, bro. What are they playing at? Yes, I'm pushing. I shouldn't have pushed. I think that's my neighbor. One of them. Oh my god, this is them. The python. No way. <laughs> well, this Tommy's about to break. I want to save it for save it for a situation that I might need it more. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just add these, but we also need to add low walls on them and then of course finish the roof. But I'm not really interested in doing that just yet. Oh my. Oh wait, they're raiding this base. Save the naked, save him.
Poor Mr. Bumpkin, man. Like so. That's all enclosed in. Very nice. Then what we want to do is on these. Yeah. Place some low walls in this orientation. Oh. So yeah, those low walls basically mean I can't get shot like in the legs from far away. And you still have these angles. So clean, man. So, so clean. This might be up there with one of the best solar bases I've built. And I've built a lot of solo bases. It is purely because of the peaks. There's such a wide variety of, of peaks that, yeah, they're, they're incredible. I've actually done it wrong here. <laughs> Good thing I'm checking. Yeah, there's just so much. It's, it's mental. It really is. Top, top base. Oh, that guy's an MP5, no? Oh, me. As he bait in, I believe. Yep. With a ridiculous amount of meds. <laughs> I think I'm going to make a saw. I think I'm going to use saw for a bit. I'm not really feeling Tommy, if I'm going to be honest. A short while later, a raid was happening really close to me, which followed by a massive fight. So of course I was going to try and grab this. Ooh. Wait a sec, let me, let me assess this situation. Come on. I thought I messed that up, Loki. Oh, let's go. I still had a bit of sulfur left, so there was one more thing left to do before coming off for the white. Raid. On my journeys back and forth to Outpost, I had noticed a 3x1 with a metal door and code lock, so I figured this would be the perfect target for what explosives I had left. Oh, they're just going to bolt you from the roof, most probably. So, I'm going to do this. I'm doing that. They're just on their roof permanently, dude. <laughs> it's insane. Okay, does it want to be any slower? Really? Oh, it's wood. Okay, so they've got a nice little trophy. They had three bags in here. I'm very worried this was a starter base. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, gosh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yes, go. The dud raid. The dud raid. Let's go. Yeah. No way. How did I... Dude. I don't know if I whiffed. I don't even think I whiffed that. I think it... What the flip? Oh my god. That would be pretty funny if they blow in. I can't lie. <laughs> that would be quite funny. They are as well.
No. 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 <laughs> oh, that was such a good attempt. Yeah, there's four of them. No. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's been real. It has been real. <laughs> and here is the part of the video where I give you a tour of this wicked base. Thank you guys all for the support recently, it's been nothing short of amazing. Special thanks to our channel members for your further support, it really means a lot. And thank you all for watching. See you all next week.